Generation 3 is uh, locked and loaded for November 17th. We've got an awesome lineup. 22 titles will be available to November 17th and Christmas. From the first party perspective, Sony's going to be pricing our launch titles at $59 retail. We're going to have three different peripherals. We'll have the six axis wireless controller at $49 retail price. We've had a lot of questions from consumers. Because it's backwards compatible, how am I going to get my game saves for my PS1 and PS2 games over the hard drive? So for $14.99, we'll be selling a memory card adapter that does just that. And then the third is a Blu-ray disc remote control to take advantage of the movie playback features. That won't be available day one, but it'll be available in December for $25. Bucks. First half million units have a pack-in of the Talladega Nights Blu-ray movie. So we thought this was a great way to show off that Blu-ray functionality get people accustomed to the fact that it's a great game machine, but it also plays movies. There's not going to be a regional lockout, and there's really no reason to do that. One of the neat things about Blu-ray is we can have multiple versions of games on the same disc. The other thing we talked about today are games that were developed specifically for the PS3 that really show off the 1080p technology, but aren't exactly 40 or 50 hour uh, experiences. They're more uh, smaller bursts of content, like Blast Factor, Criminal Crackdown. All of those digital download games will be available for 15 bucks and under. And then the third bucket of content that you can download from the PlayStation Store will be PlayStation 1 games. And now initially you can download them to your PS3 and play them on a PSP. Right after Christmas you'll be able to download them to the PS3 and play them on your PS3 as well. All of those will be available for under 10 bucks, and probably most of them between a $5 and $10 range. From a microtransaction perspective, if you've got a game like Resistance, you want to download new maps, weapons, levels, uh, we'll be offering those things anywhere from a penny up to a couple bucks. And it'll really depend on the type of content. And then the other big reveal we did today was really talk about the PlayStation Network and how consumers are going to be able to jump online for free, mind you, play games, chat, access a web browser, and download a whole bunch of great digital content. You've got a PS3 in your house and you've got a PSP. What you can do is you can access your PS3's hard drives remotely via the PSP. So imagine you've got a video on there or photographs, music, game content. You can be across the, the house in another room, wirelessly access your PS3 hard drive, and now you're looking at that hard drive via your PSP. You can access the XMB or Cross Media Bar, dive into all your content, and play it on your PSP. And then in the not too distant future, via a hotspot, you could not only be across the room, you could be on the other part of the planet and accessing into your PS3 hard drive. So it's a very, very cool feature. I mean, the PlayStation 3 is where it's at. We've got 22 games at launch, but we've got the commitment of the best third-party publishers in the world. You've got uh, the best technology in the marketplace between Cell and Blu-ray and a hard disk drive in every unit. I think the big thing is get consumers into the stores, check it out. Once you see what these games look like in high-definition glory, there's no other way to go.